first welding job completed. Catch you inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Ave. I uh, hope you're all well in these trying times. So yes, plans were going splendidly with my uh, motorcycle trailer uh, here, which I've kind of mentioned in previous videos. Uh, and basically this is gonna be a heavy duty motorcycle trailer that is all going to be in component parts uh, that you can just stick in the boot of a car or a trunk of a car or whatever and then take it out at your destination uh, to load up a motorcycle let's say quickly bolt it all together and away you go it should hopefully be able to take about 500 kilos uh maximum that'd be on the axles so that is so easily good you know a harley davidson should easily be able to take that okay um what's been the problem well okay so this was another little weldon job which i started uh, and i completed so look at that not bad all right there we go i've ground that down a bit of black paint hides a multitude of sins anyway uh let me bring you over to this and i'll show you what i've been doing so essentially this is going to be the center of the uh trailer you're going to have your wheels on one end this end and on that end then these two parts here which i've welded together look at these welds hey look at that uh so they are actually bolted either side to this part these two are just purely acting as supports for the tray which is going to go along here which is also going to be in two component parts so they're basically going to be about a meter and a half long something like that each so it'd be about a three meter tray maximum uh, and they're going to be bolted here one two three one two three then bolted there 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 and there and either side and then uh, obviously they're going to be another part on that side uh, with the tow hitch uh, all on it as well uh, but I've come into a bit of a snag now, the whole point of this project build uh, if you watch my channel you kind of know that I like to repurpose or reuse things uh, that I find I am a bit of a womble I like to call in the UK here so uh, of a certain age anyway uh, I like to find uh, make good use of the things that you find and, and basically that's what I love to do really um, so if I could find a bit of scrap metal whatever you know I, I love to turn it into something so this was an old boat trailer uh now have you seen the pictures in previous videos but i'll put another one up there and there's a little video uh coming up as well now basically what i've done i've chopped all that up uh and uh then i've all sort of ground it all down and lots of it was bent and lots of it was rusted through as well so i've chopped all that out a bit of chop cut rebuild uh, going on here and uh do you remember that show oh, that was a great show by the way i love that anyway so um come to a problem here where i was actually going to use the axles and the wheels of the uh boat trailer um but have a look at this hold on <laughs> right uh so i was going to use these unfortunately whilst they look quite strong uh they're actually rusted through and the rubber kind of in there uh, that acts as the torsion bit uh, is all kind of breaking away. So the plate, the backing plate here is rusting through right to the edge here, sort of crumbling away and also that. So do you know what? To put an expensive bike on this or even a cheap bike, it's just not worth it. The other thing was, because these are really old style axles as well, they have a sort of central hub nut there and then there's a a bearing on the back there um you can't really get wheels for these anymore so you really need to have a spare wheel um so these are just not going to do so i don't trust them and they're old-fashioned outdated as well so what i'm going to do is source another set of trailer wheels that should be rated uh about 550 kilos which is actually a substantial amount so you take off the weight of the trailer itself uh however much of that's going to be so i would say a good 400 kilo bike you easily be able to take hopefully i'm never going to go that heavy but that's you know that's the tolerance which i have so unfortunately 
whilst these would be okay let's say if i was on a farm or something like that uh, just a, a basic trailer to go around uh, for road use i just don't trust them so uh, back to the drawing board on that one <sighs> right so uh yeah so I, I thought I was going to be able to knock this bike trailer out quite quickly and do you like a full complete build uh, video of it, as it were, and just show you the build process and everything. Um, it isn't quite working out like that. So that's why I'm kind of including it in these kind of vlog type videos for you uh, just to see what's going on. And basically uh, the welding is coming along pretty good. So much better with that big bottle of gas now and the proper regulator. Just, you know, practice, practice, getting better each time. I think I'm better on the thicker metal, that's for sure. <laughs> the thin metal, still not quite there yet. It's amazing what a grinder and a bit of painter will hide as well. But I'm happy with that. As long as it holds, that's uh, that's the main thing at this stage. I'm not after any welding competitions or anything like that. Um, so the next thing will be to do, um, will be to get some angle iron and see where I can find that, maybe in a scrapyard, and then some straight pieces, if you can find any, of course, uh, and then be able to build the tray out. And I could buy one, an aluminium-based one, for about £100, but I think I could actually build one for a lot less, and whilst it will be heavier than the ones you can build, uh, that you can buy, I think it will be stronger possibly and also because it's going to be in component parts as well for this idea that you can put all this in a big duffel bag or in the boot of a car or whatever so i think my idea might be better anyway so i've got to source out more metal and then uh the last thing we'll be able to see if i can find some trailer parts somewhere that'll be quite quite cheap i can get a whole kit for uh, about 160 pounds uh which is kind of 160 pounds more than i actually wanted to spend uh on this project because really it was about repurposing but there you go uh anyway so that's it that's what i've kind of been doing i've been working on this other little project which i'm on the go i'm in the middle of construction here at the homestead um so that's why these uh were made so i'm kind of proud of myself that i managed to actually put this welding to good use so the next week or so i'm going to be concentrating on construction outside uh, but then it will be back in here for more stuff with the trailer and other stuff as well and possibly come up with a few discussion videos as well oh i did pop down to the harley dealership a bit earlier on yeah luckily ours is still open in this area they're officially open their um, dealership is open as it were um i get the impression though that the stock is a little bit limited maybe the stock coming from the us is a little bit limited as well i don't have any inside information uh, i went to look at a road glide um Lim ultra limited i think it was uh down there I actually went looked at um or, or tried to look at a pan america as well but interestingly they didn't have any pan america so they weren't going to have any until the end of may here in the uk now i'm not sure if that's for all dealerships or just this particular one but anyway so it's um i think they're going to be in short supply as well initially for this year that's what i was told so there, there isn't much of a supply there um i think they're looking at about 14 and a half 15 and a half thousand pounds depending on the the model variant which you have as well so all exciting times there i think you know they've got a big cardboard cutout there i think from the profile it looks pretty good um it's just whether you know it's that you, that's your kind of style that road glide ultra limited or whatever it was it was a huge bike and it looked great it was all black all color match black it looked the business it looked mean but it just looked so big and i thought you know am i even going to be able to put it in my garage here so i might go and test ride it i mean i was they gave me a call to ask if i wanted to go and test ride it which is really nice of them down there they you know thought of me because they I had thought about getting a, a Tora at some point, but I think I still think the Sport Glide for me is 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 the bike for me. Um, possibly a Road Glide or a um, or a uh, or a Street Glide or something like that. Yeah, uh, yeah. A, a, a road glide i think you know kind of looks better uh in some respects but i'm not too sure about the ultra package i think maybe just the the road glide special i think would be you know 
more than enough for me anyway uh, but that's to come uh, possibly more uh, bike videos coming out uh, i might go and test ride a few and i'll bring you along for the ride as well why not uh, but anyway right so the project at hand today is still this uh, collapsible bike trailer um, when i've got it all sorted uh, i'll actually put plans for it on the uh on the website i'll make a full proper video for you guys as well so you'll have a good idea if you ever want to build something like this yourself i think you know if, if you're limited on space or you would just want to hide it somewhere or you don't want to be able to tow an empty trailer behind you i think this is a really good option what i don't like about the lightweight variations out there or that have been built is that they are really lightweight and i want something that's heavy duty as well so there we go anyway right so uh i thought i'd uh, just bring you up to date on that lots of uh lots of little projects going on at the same time yeah getting a bit of grief from her indoors uh telling me that i should just concentrate on one project at a time yes possibly sage advice but uh, no i'm not gonna do that of course i'm not uh you know i love to juggle and that's the way it goes right anyway like share subscribe all that kind of stuff check out the website lots of videos coming still and uh, lots of other different types of videos as well anyway take it easy and i'll catch you again Ta -da.